Ministry of Health designates an entire month for cancer awareness. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Rakesha St. Louis. For the first time in Grenada, an entire month has been dedicated to raise awareness, educate and provide specialized screening and support services to Grenadians as part of its ongoing efforts to curb the spread of cancer. The Ministry of Health says in 2016 alone, 200 people died as a result of cancer, which still continues to be the primary cause of death. Cancer of the breast cervix and prostate are the main cancers affecting the population. Dr. Sonia Nixon, senior medical officer in the Ministry of Health with responsibility for chronic diseases says, while cancer is generally a cause of major concern, statistics reveals that breast and cervical cancer in women and prostate cancer in men are most prevalent in Grenada. Dr. Nixon says it's important for persons to seek early screening to prevent early death. Breast cancer is the number one killer of all women, as right, and um, and then women have cervical cancers. But we have screening methods, and we have mm -hmm. methods to treat early to prevent the d the development of all the changes that occur in the cells, mm -hmm. right? As um, to make it develop into cancer, and in men, of course, prostate cancer is the number one killer of cancer by cancer among all men. Colin Campbell, first vice president of MWAG, says the organization's responsibility during the month-long activity is to disseminate information on cancer awareness. We have a number of initiatives that we plan to undertake. Um, some of them include um, erecting billboards, mm -hmm. um, you know, engaging the community, going into where, where the little pockets are, mm -hmm. where people are, you know, and speaking to them about um, the importance of getting screening, screened. Um, especially in men for prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. What I would say to men is that um, you just have to be you just have to be brave and know that you can be cancer. Right. No matter how strong you are, you can right. be cancer. So you better find so you out be early. You better find out early. Mm -hmm. Worldwide, 250,000 women die each year from cancer of the cervix, which is a preventable disease. World Cancer Day will be celebrated on February 4th internationally. In about three months, butchers will be operating from a more comfortable upgraded facilities in St. George's. A temporary area was created for about six butchers close to the area known as House of Lords, while work continues on the permanent structure. The project, which costs in excess of $80,000, entails work to add a chill room as well as bath and toilet facilities. There won't be any slaughtering of any animals there. All of this slaughtering is at the Maribo Slaughterhouse, you know. So all that meat will be transported, as you see, we have a refrigeration truck that will transport the meat from the slaughterhouse down to the area where they are presently selling meat. But when the area is completed, they will be now doing it in the original area there. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Celebrating our culture. Celebrating our heritage. Showcasing who we are. Heading to Big Parish St. Andrews on Saturday, February 3rd for the Independence Cultural Extravaganza. Starting at 5 p.m. with a flambeau march through the town of Granville. Then into Victoria Park, singing, dancing, drumming by Grenada's best cultural performers. Followed by the Jump Together Soka concert with the best of the best. Ending the night with fireworks and great memories. The Big 44 of Grenada's independence. Celebrating our culture and our heritage. One people. One country, our responsibility. Granville is the place to be. Celebrate, celebrate. Karikou's patriotism is on full display as the island joins in the 44th independence celebrations being held under the theme, One Country, One People, Our Responsibility. The sister isle has been adorned in the national colors of red, green and yellow. The parade of the Royal Grenada Police Force and other organized groups was held at the Hillsborough Recreational Ground. Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade commended the island on playing its role in nation building. Karyoko has and continues to play a part in our country's human resource development. The outstanding performance of schools in Karyoko, both primary and secondary, 
It's testimony to that. Congratulations are in order for Rakeem McFarlane of Harveyvale Government School, who placed first in the CPEA exam in our country. Harveyvale Government School also placed first in the court's reading competition in District 1, earned gold in the Grenada Solid Waste Management Cleanup, and placed second in the Rich to Reach project organized by the 4 Club. She emphasized the importance of moving forward as a united, resilient force towards development. Time and time again, history has proven that we are assured of success when we come together, each individual playing his or her part for the benefit of all. The outstanding performance of three of our top sportsmen from Carriacou, we have Emmanuel Stewart and Kellis Andrew, and from Pitty Martinique, Rufus Vesprey, is a result of the united effort of our people in Carriacou and Pitty Martinique, Grenada, regionally and beyond. Meanwhile, on the mainland, activities continue leading into Wednesday, February 7th. On Saturday, Big Parish St. Andrew comes alive with the Flambeau March, craft display and a cultural extravaganza. On Sunday, the National Independence Church Service will be held at the St. Martin the Porous RC Church at Crochu St. Andrew. And Community Beautification Judging Day will be held on Monday. Meanwhile, residents of the Sister Isle P.T. Martinique commemorated Grenada's 44th year as an independent nation on Wednesday with a call to work in unity, reflecting on their achievements as a nation. It was made by the Honorable Elvin Nimrod, former minister for Karikou and P.T. Martinique Affairs. The celebrations are centered on the theme, One People, One Country, Our Responsibility. If we do not cooperate as one people and work together as one people, our country could never succeed, cannot succeed. If we go about thinking that we are not part of the country, we are not from this country, and we do not appreciate saying the country, then we have a problem. Because everything we do, of course, as citizens, must be to promote Grenada, Caracol, and Piti Manic. And I just explained our responsibility. And so, for instance, if a youngster is walking down the street and you see some garbage on the road, they just turn your back and say, well, that is the garbage collector work. Because you see, this is about all of us. If the tourist comes here and see that your place are not tidy and not clean, of course, the matter of time before they refuse to come back. Eight awardees received trophies for their contributions to health, community service, fishing, business, sports, and others. Now to recap the headlines. Ministry of Health designates an entire month for cancer awareness. And that's the National Report. I am Rakesha St. Louis.